Oh crap! It's that reporter in the bot again. Cheese it, Ollie. Hold on a moment. We're just here to ask the two of you for a favor. You don't need to run again. <laughs> I knew you didn't have the guts to mess with me. Guts? And why would we want to help you? We did trash that apartment, Chad. Yeah? So? We also didn't report you to the police for it. Yeah? So? And they still could. Oh. Uh, all right, well, spill it then. I ain't got all day. Can't you see me and Oliver are busy? We need some assistance with some illicit activity that... Statistically, individuals in your age bracket are likely to have experience with. Oh! So this is one of those things where you need a streetwise kid to show you the ropes. So, what's the thread? B&E? War driving? Copyright infringement? Search bombing? Is search bombing actually illegal? It's against the terms of service, so probably, at least in California. Oh, that's nothing. If you can pay. Ollie can whip up a couple that'll work good enough to get you past a bouncer or a cop doing sniff tests. He's a wizard with a printer and a lifted wallet. It's more complicated than that. We need falsified passports that can get two people past the border safely. Oh, yeah, I don't think Ollie can do that. Can you? Not without equipment a lot more expensive and illegal than what I already have. What about that guy who got at least that unrestricted mesh card when she was on probation? That's not really the same thing, Chad but it wouldn't hurt to give him a call. Give me a few minutes. This guy is pretty sketchy, very cloak and dagger. I'll have to play middleman. Excellent. I'll forward you the relevant documents and photos. Oh man, now I'm starting to feel left out. All he gets to show off all his cool connections. You sure you don't need someone's head kicked in a little? That's my area of expertise in our little duo. Well, that and petty larceny. We might have something that will suit your skill set. Let's just get the passports first, if you can stay calm for that long. You sure yap a lot more than any of the ROMs I've ever owned. What's the deal? You install some new conversation routines Ollie ain't had the chance to nerd out about yet? Well, they're top notch! Very bleeding edge! I don't run traditional ROM VI personality software. I am, in fact, the first fully sapient machine intelligence. Well, at least that I know about. Which means what exactly? In English. It means he's a person, Chad, not a toy. Now keep it down. I'm still on the phone. Oops. And yes, what he said. Well, that's awesome. You ain't so bad. For a tin can. Tin can? Really? I'm composed almost entirely out of plasteel and silica. Has no one come up with better insults for robots since the turn of the century? ROMs have been out for almost two decades. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Give me a sec. I'm pretty good at name calling, too. Oh, no. I'm sorry I brought it up. Just hold on a second. Underclocked? Oh, bit brain. 
hurt yourself, Chad. I'll get back to you, Bubblehead. Okay, I talked to the guy. He said he'll do it, but he only works in trade. A couple of passports are gonna run us... One signed poster for Magical Commander Yukino? Yukino at the Gates to the Deep? Of <laughs> course. It's always that Japanese crap. It's not my fault they make the best VR dramas. Maybe you can do better? Probably. Anyway, where can we get a poster like that? I'm not sure. Probably nearby. I've done switches with this guy before, and he never asks for something that'll take too long to get. My guess is he's a local that uses people like us as a way to nab something he's had his eye on. We'll help you look for it. I saw a poster for Magical Commander Yukino somewhere around here. I should have remembered Ramona had one. You know this lady? Sure. We talk sometimes when I'm getting our drinks. You're usually too busy provoking people to notice. You call it provoking. I call it spontaneous enthusiasm for healthy rivalry. There's a bit of a line. We'll have to wait a few minutes before we can talk to her. We could just do a smash and grab. Simple and effective. We can't do that. She knows who we are. Us too. This is the most boring felony I've ever been an accessory to. Look, we'll just stand in line. Like a bunch of clumps? Er, chumps? What is the big picture anyway, Blue Bomber? I'm not sure it's wise to spread it around, Chad. For either of us, the less you know, the less reason anyone has to bother you. Screw that, Static. I'm not heading to Juvie not knowing what for. Spill the beans, or I'll spill them for you. Your persistence is already legendary, Chad. Fine. If you really must know, we are going to trade the passports for some information regarding the disappearance of my creator. His apartment was the one you trashed. Oh shit, that Hayden dude is your dad? And they snatched him? Oh, that's so messed up. Well, dad, after a fashion, he raised me. Man, I hope you find the dudes that took him. I hope he's okay. It seems very unlikely. Oh man, I... I just don't know what to say, you know? I mean, I still have my dad, but he's... Chad? He's never really been around. Too busy trying to save the world from itself. Even now, he's over there standing in front of that damn clinic. And I thought I could find a way to make him... Whatever. I might as well nuke that drive. It ain't gonna sink. I think I 
understand what you mean, Chad. Hell yeah! Dudes gotta stick together, you know? Dudes? Don't matter if you're a robot or what. We all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab destiny by the horns and make your own mark! People keep saying that, and I keep wanting to punch them for it. It's probably the hair. You think? Well, I ain't willing to give up my dude just so people will think I'm a brain. Got an image to protect. I still think it would be better in yellow. Yeah? Maybe we can get a box of dye on the way home. The line has finally cleared up. Let's go talk to Ramona. Hey, Allie! Salutations, Ramona. What can I do for you all? Ahem! Oh, this is my friend, Chad. Yeah, you too. We were hoping you might be able to give us your assistance, Ms. Rogers. We want to make a trade for that magical Commander Yukino poster over there. It's necessary for us to get some pretty important information. No way! Not happening! Nuh-uh! Yukino is off limits! on a nerdy poster. Look, I don't even care. That poster was signed by Takeko herself. It's one of a kind, and I'm not giving it up. I'd rather not drag you any further into this than necessary, but I promise that we're not overstating it. This is a dire situation, and people have already died. Jeez. Look, whatever you're doing sounds sketch as hell. I and Magical Commander Yakino herself want no part in it. I don't even see how the poster can help. Man, you nerds sure do love your cheap crap from the net. Cheap crap? I'll have you know that poster is worth hundreds of credits. Maybe more. Takeko passed away years ago, so there aren't any more of them getting signed. It's special. Sure it is. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He's not in the fandom. Thankfully. It's not just a poster. It was a gift from someone. Someone I care about, okay? Besides, you can't get another one. Takeko passed away a few years ago. Perhaps there's something else that would make a suitable trade? You aren't hearing me, are you? It has sentimental value. You can't replace that. Look, you'll just have to order something off the mesh because you can't have this one. Oh, we don't have time. This lead will dry up by then. Keep me out of this. Okay, enough. How about this for a trade? I have... An original keyframe cell from Pretty Champion Sailor Sirius, signed by Takeko at home. Whoa! You have a signed Sailor Sirius cell? That's super rare! They stopped doing keyframes by hand right around the time of her death. You can't be serious, Ollie! You have that thing framed on your wall! Anyone shut up about it for a week after you got it! 
this is important, Chad. You can't say you wouldn't do the same thing if someone had your dad. Think about Turing. I can't ask Ramona to give up something important to her if I'm not willing to do the same. Maybe. Look, okay, I don't know what's going on, but you can't give me that cell for the poster. But we need... Yeah, yeah, you'll get the poster. Whatever you're doing, it must be really important if you'd be willing to give that up. Do you have something more equal to trade, Ali? A couple of things, maybe. We'll talk about it then. Maybe you can find me another one, too. Go ahead and take the poster. Thank you, Ramona. Yes! I can't tell you how much it means to us, Ms. Rogers. Sure, sure. And, uh, you think I could see that cell sometime, Ollie? Of course! I'll bring it over when we talk about the trade. So cool! I don't like the way she was flirting with you, Ollie! What are you talking about? I know flirting when I see it! And I'm saying I don't like it! Not one bit! We just talk about old anime sometimes, Chad. Neither of us are interested in the other. Huh. <laughs> sure. Well, we have the poster now. What's next? Go ahead and call this number, Turing. He'll want to set up the drop with you, now that I've introduced you to him. Sure. Change the subject. Uh, I'll call him right now, then. It's ringing. You're the ones looking for some papers? We are, and we have the requested payment with us. Good. We're gonna do this real professional-like. You know Stardust? I do. Head there. Leave the poster behind the Megaphobator arcade cabinet, and get out. Come back ten minutes later and your stuff will be behind the machine. I understand. Good. I'll be waiting. Well, that was very mysterious. Yeah, that's how this guy is. I don't even know his name. And I've been getting things from him for a few years now. Who cares? Let him play Spy Master if he wants. Let's hurry up to Stardust and get this over with. I've wasted enough of my day with this crap.